Hey there, I'm doing a quick tutorial here to show you how to uh, compile and run OpenRGB on Linux. So I'm going to try to make it as, sh as short as possible and as easy enough to understand. Um, so yeah, to get started, um, you want to head over to uh, gitlab.com slash calcprogrammer1 slash openrgb like that. I'll have this linked below the video in the description so click go to the site there and uh, yeah let's get down to things um, I would recommend reading the uh, the warnings because there are some devices that don't uh, work correctly with the software uh, particularly with the MSI uh, Mystic Light code which can sometimes lead to working certain MSI boards with certain modes so be cautious of that uh, so yeah that's that and uh, we'll get down to the part where you can uh, download and compile so first of all you want to make sure some essential packages are installed if you're on Debian you want to make sure you have build essentials Qt Creator and Qt5 default as well as lib usb 1.0 dash dev and then lib uh, hit api dev and package conf pkg conf uh, so you can install that with sudo apt install followed by the uh, applications that you need uh, you can do the same on fedora except you use sudo dnf install uh, you do git uh, make auto make gcc and the gcc uh, dash c plus plus qt creator qt5 devil uh, hit api devil libusp devil and that should be it uh, if you're installing on some other distribution like uh, arch you should be able to just find it from anyway um what you want to do is you want to copy this command that's here git clone and uh, you take that to your terminal screen and you uh, um, paste it in and you be do it so as you can see I've already got it so I can just cd to the directory as it shows on there so you go open rvg uh, into that directory and then you run a qmake on the open rgb profile and then you run the make dash j8 the dash j8 uh, well the dash j option is jobs so how many jobs you want to run for compiling so this would usually work better if you have more cores uh, j8 just uses like eight, 8 processes to compile the job which is plenty in my opinion and then you can just run the application with dot slash open rg rgb like so so you use open rgb and then uh, you launch it like so and then you have this just like that and then you've got um all this other stuff here so you can set the rgb so i'm using the asus aura uh since i'm using uh the asus uh RGB stuff so that, that's all that stuff there you'll see the information for your motherboard your RAM if it has RGB and you'll be able to set devices and you could toggle, toggle the LED so you can see where you want the things on uh, it won't show any colors to begin with but uh, since I've got a profile I can hit load and it will show you the colors that I have currently loaded onto my motherboard there and as well as the RAM so it's got one two three and four and you can set between uh, entire zones or individual LEDs and then you can apply the colors and set all device you set the modes some modes don't always work so just check and play around with see what works for you uh, the colors per LED and all these other stuff uh, can't really select them on my one because uh, it's probably not supported you can set the speed if it's supported and directory wherever that is I don't know so 
it's pretty simple. Um, just some quick things to go over before you be able to run it. Should have mentioned this before. Is um, you need to make sure you have the I2C dev module. So this SM bus access part thing here. You need to load the I2C dash dev module. So you can load it with sudo mod probe uh, I2C dash dev. To load the I2C driver for your chipset, you can do for Intel, you use sudo mod probe I2C dash AI801 and sudo mod probe I2C dash NCT6775, which is the secondary control of your motherboard's LEDs, which may require a patch uh, for your distribution. Some distributions might already have it, so you might not need to do it, but uh, there is a patch file included with the, the source files. For AMD, you just do uh, sudo mod probe I2C PIIX4, and uh, again with the modified kernel patch thing as well. There's details on how to, on how to patch the kernel right there as well. Uh, some Gigabyte Aurora's motherboards have an ACPI conflict with the SM bus controller, and you might need to add this uh, this uh, parameter here, kernel boot. Uh, parameters for ACPI underscore enforce underscore resources equals lax for the controller to show up and all that. And you can list the SM bus controllers with sudo itc detect dash L. So, like here, I can just do sudo itc detect dash L. So, you have to enter your password to uh, be able to read it. So, as you can see here, it loads, shows all the I2C stuff uh, that I have. So you'll have stuff like this loaded, and uh, and that. You should be able to use these and control the RGB. You can also use uh, LSMod to check which modules are loaded. So you just LSMod, pipe, grep, and then just do I2C. And you'll have a list of your models listed right there for the use using. Um, one other thing is you might need to grant access to the those controllers, for instance, uh, by doing sudo chmod seven 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 slash on slash dev slash i two c and whatever number of module thing. I don't particularly like this method because it just uh, it basically grants everyone permission to read write to that address of that i two c module. There is a rule file uh, you can. We can use as well. It's called uh, 60-openrgb.rules, which goes into your etc udev rules d. And once it's in there, you do the sudo udev adm uh, control dash dash reload dash rules and then and and uh, sudo udev adm trigger. So it reloads those rules and loads them. So if I just do show you. I have here because uh, I've already got it in the, in the uh, directory, so I can just do ls etc udev uh, rules dot d, and there we go. I have the sixty open rgb dot rules right there, so I can just do like read it sixty dash open rgb rules, and then that's pretty much everything in there. So you can see there's quite a list, a list of different devices and stuff that it works with, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything really uh, covered. And uh, yeah, hope that helps you, and uh, I'll see ya. Bye.